Sunday. Yeah. How are you um, for me, I feel good. Um, taking a day at a time. Um, moving around good, though. But I feel great going into the game. Um, tomorrow, we got to just do a little more, put a little more hay in the barn, and then I'll be ready to go. Are you optimistic about where your chemistry is with Ryan Tannehill at this point? Obviously, you guys didn't have a whole lot of practice time, but a couple practices in this Yeah, week. yeah, I'm great. I feel great about um, me and Hill uh, situation. Um, that's what practice is for. Um, we had enough time out here on, on, the, on the playing field. I had practice to get some work in. Uh, I'm good. You know, I don't have anything going on with me right now. Um, I feel great. Just ready to go. You had a long offseason, a lot going on. Are you as anxious to play uh, mm -hmm. this year as maybe you've ever been? Mm -hmm. um, nah, for me, um, for us, the offseason, right, it's a process. Everything happens, you know what I'm saying, obviously for a reason, things like that. You handle it as it comes to you. Um, but for me, just staying ready, doing what I do in the offseason, getting ready and um, just coming in and play, you know, getting ready to play. You haven't had much of the offense include in, in terms of starters out there during training camp. So having them out there this week, could you kind of see what the vision was for this offense and, and just what did you think about it with everybody out there at the same time? Um, for me, just everybody just being out there, just doing their job to the best of their ability. All of us out there just working together collectively. Um, just, just to have the timing together, um, breaking the huddle together, things like that. Just us, everybody's working on their own particular job. Um, I think that's good, just having everybody out there. So yesterday, a lot of communication with Ryan Tanner. Mm -hmm. How was that process going for you, just as far as getting out here on the field? Ryan's definitely a great leader um, for the um, for the ball club, and me just communicating with him, um, very understanding, um, just a pro, you know. Uh, just a quarterback and a receiver thing, just communicating, just talking. Um, I think that's very important. So. Do you feel like you're conditioned enough to play the entire game in the deep, with important snaps, third downs, two minutes, Yeah, I'm good to go. What's kind of the excitement level, maybe the vibe around this team? Um, you know, um, for me. Uh, the vibe at, um, around this team is uh, just being confident, you know, having each other's back and just playing one play at a time and just going out there and, and earning it. How hard should this offense with you with AJ or with Derek in particular right now be for Cardinals or everybody to Um, I don't know. You, I mean, you have to see Sunday. You know, um, we come out here, we practice every day, you know, to get everything situated for the game and be ready to go when it's time. But, um... Sunday at 12 o'clock, we'll see, we shall see. Uh, learn maybe more about uh, AJ, um, you know, as you guys have gotten to know each other, he's mm -hmm. more in, in camp and, and so forth. Um, AJ, very humble um, young man. Uh, everything about him, he comes to work um, every day. Uh, he always want to learn and be the best. So uh, we communicate all the time, just talking, you know, just about the game of football and then just him as a person too, just a great dude. Yeah, what, when, when you Go ahead, JG. Um, you know, it seems like you guys are always together, whether it's on the field or, or I would imagine elsewhere. What are you know? What are some of the? Is it more football, like you say, or more non-football that, that you guys are going through? Um, at the end of the day, just um, you know, what I'm saying, uh, just a relationship um, in the building, out of the building, right? It's just having a guy that you can know, you can go to a bar, uh, whatever, and have a fight with that has your back. You know, it's just building that. Um, their confidence in one another and understanding that you're not out there by yourself and I'm not, I'm not out there by myself. For you personally, this is the first time you're playing mm -hmm. with a new team at the NFL level. I mean, is there any kind of different emotions going into this this first game? Um, for No, it's not really. Um, it's a new year. Every year is a new year for me. Um, if I was on the same team. It don't matter. Like I feel like every year is a new year, and I have to prove myself, you know, year in and year out, day in and day out, um, things like that, and just just the mentality that I have. Maybe along those lines, what do you expect out of yourself this week one? Um, I'm just gonna go out there, um, week one for myself, and just go full full speed. You know, do what I do, see what I see, um, just play football. I've been doing it for a decade. I mean. I don't think it's, it's going to be a hat trick out there. You know, I'm just going to go out there and just do what I do and see what I see. 
know you've been doing some fishing here when you're when you're able. How do they fight here in the um, just a lot of fresh water here, um, a lot of ponds and different things like that. Um, it's cool, it's just relaxing, um, just going out there and just creating patience. So uh, it's good. I, it's just it's very peaceful for me just to get away and just go fishing. What, what happened on the on the one practice play that, that had you sit out, and, and was that kind of more precautionary to stay out for that that length of time, or, or you know, could you just not go? No, no. What you talking about? <laughs> On the, uh, on the one play in the end zone way back, you know, that you kind of came down. I don't look back. That stuff so far away from me. I, I, so long ago, I can't really remember that kind of stuff, man. I'll tell you the truth. Um, I'm here now. I'm good to go. I'm ready to go.